Hey, how's everybody doing? It's me, Crazy Frankie, and I'd like to welcome you to my Week 17 4 Key Game Picks. Before we talk about Week Number 17, I just want to give you guys a quick note in next week's video. Before that, we used to have only 17 weeks of the regular season, and obviously Week 17 would be my Special Edition video. I will still have that special edition video, which is week number 18 now. Now that they're 18 weeks in the NFL season, it is one of my least favorite videos to do because I will be babbling on and on to my predictions and maybe some key games and what I think is going to happen in terms of the NFL playoff picture. So next week's video is not my favorite video, so please be aware. It's probably going to be my least liked video, but I have to talk about next week and who I think is going to get in the playoffs, or what are my predictions of which teams are going to get in. Anyways, going back to last week from to week number 16, and obviously we finally have some teams that are going to, now we now know who's going to be in the playoffs here. We had four division winners last week. Buccaneers, Packers, Cowboys, and Chiefs all clinched their respective divisions officially. And the Rams and the Cardinals actually clinched playoff berths. So... As far as a lot of other teams right now, you can look through the scroll, uh, the text scrolling on the screen that comes up. What are the current seeds in both the AFC and NFC? They will have a little star mark or anything t in terms of the team that tells you who is clinched, either the division or wild card berth, regardless. So it was quite an interesting week in week number 16. Obviously, COVID is still is still rampant among the NFL, and obviously, different types of protocols now are really going to be Affect, have really affected a lot of teams and when I look about probably the biggest surprise coming out of week number um, 16 was really the fact I think I, it, this hurts me dearly is the is the way the Chargers lost to that to a three win Texas Texans team everybody assumed that the Chargers would win that game and then they ended up getting blown out by the Texans and now the Chargers now are on the outside and probably the most in danger of not making the postseason as well as some other football teams. When I look at some other prospective teams, the Cardinals are really going downhill, even though they've clinched a playoff berth based on other weird scenarios. But yet, I don't know. I think now the way things are going right now for that for that team, it is getting bad. And I don't know if they'll if they're even make they'll even get out of the first round. And it could clear a pathway for the Rams to win the division. So it's it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the NFC West, and and obviously another surprise, really, I would have to say is the way the Ravens have just completely collapsed. They are out of the playoff picture along with the Cleveland Browns, and really right now, it's they're looking on the outside right now, and you would think that the the fact that with the way the Bengals played against the Steelers, they now have a clear path to win the AFC North. But when I'm when I, I nobody should be surprised about one thing right now. What's going on really, and that is the Kansas City Chiefs. They destroyed the Steelers, and they, in my honest opinion, now I really think now the Chiefs have got to be now the heavy favorites now in the AFC now to probably win the AFC championship now. But it's too early to be seen what will happen down the line right now. Bills are back in first place, beating the Patriots in a game they had to have. But now it's going to come down to can the Bills win the remaining two games as well because one loss and if the Patriots win both their games, they end, the Patriots end up winning the division. But really right now it's going to be to see what happens this week and who clinches playoff birds. All right, now let's talk about week number 17, shall we? Let's begin with key game number one. It is the Rams versus the Ravens. The Rams are a three-and-a-half point favorite, and, it wouldn't, and I would say for the time being that is about, that is about as right as it could be. There is a lot of question marks right now. What is going to happen in terms of the quarterback position for the Ravens? Because this is the Ravens' last opportunity to salvage a win just to keep their playoff hopes alive because the AFC is really packed with teams that are 8-7 and seven and 7-7. Seven and s They're really 8-7 and seven and along with the Steelers going at 7-7-1. Seven, se seven, seven and one. Stanford in, his, in the big win against the Vikings last week, went 21-37, 197 yards, one touchdown, and three interceptions. Now, the three interceptions was really uh, a head-scratcher in that law. And, and even though they beat the Vikings still, but it was a kind of a head-scratcher, there, could there be another issue with Stafford? I really don't know the outcome of who is going to start for the Ravens because obviously the Ravens had to start a third-string quarterback 
last week. And they still ended up getting whooped by the Bengals. So really right now, it all comes down to this, who's going to be the starting quarterback. It could be either Huntley or by some miracle, it'll be Lamar Jackson. But really right now, the Ravens, besides COVID, they have some injuries as well in the defense. It is really going to be a question mark whether if that Rams can expose the secondary of that Ravens defense here as they're getting stretched thin other than the other besides the besides COVID and the fact that one of their players is out with an injury. It is going to be a tough one for the Ravens here in this one here. It'll be a close game, no question. This is going to be a hard-fought battle between these two teams, but I can I pretty much see the Rams coming out as the victor here. It's going to be close. I can see the Rams winning by a field goal here. So definitely, I'm going to pick the Rams here. It should be a very close game. Uh, but I think the Rams will pull will pull off the victory here, which will bring them in just closer, depending on what happens with the Cardinals against the Cowboys. Who's to say, who's to say the, the Rams could actually clinch the West this weekend? But it's really too early to say right now in terms of in terms of what will happen at that point here. Um but talking about this game here, I like I like the Rams' chances a little bit more. They seem to be getting a little bit more healthy here. Obviously, the running game and Michelle is probably going to be going to be huge in this game. Is the way the Ravens' defense is stretched thin. So, yep, I'm definitely picking the Rams in this one here. The Rams by three and a half. Take the Rams minus three and a half. Rams over the Ravens. Key game number two. It is the it is the Raiders versus the Colts. The Colts are a slight favorite, are actually a favorite at six and a half. And it wouldn't surprise me if that number goes down to six, maybe five and a half, maybe much lower. There is a situation for the Colts right now. Um, if you read the news right now that Wentz had tested positive for COVID. So obviously the, with the new protocol standards that they switched it down from 10 days to five days. I don't know if Wentz is going to be ready for this game. Because he's going to have to really clear a lot. He's going to have to have a negative test. And I don't know if it's, that's going to happen on time. But when I look at it this way, I, I could see, look, the Colts have a running game. And that's what really gave them the gave them two wins last week, even if Wimps didn't perform all that well. Now, for Derek Carr, they were fortunate enough to beat the Raiders the way the Broncos are a mess right now. Now, Derek Carr went 20 of 25, 201 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. Now, assuming if Carson Wentz does play, he went 18 of 20, 225 yards, two touchdowns, and no interceptions. He played fairly decently in that game against the Cardinals. But now it comes to the fact that the Raiders are a much more desperate team than the Colts, so the Colts are still clinging to a playoff spot right now at the, at the five seed. The Raiders, are, the Raiders are still alive here. But I look at this game very carefully here, the fact that the the Colts have a running game, and it's going to be hard for the Raiders to stop that, even if Wentz is not playing here. I really think, to me, the Colts have a much better team. They slightly have a better offense here. Raiders' defense is still a mess. I'm going with the Colts here. I think they'll win this one here. I definitely will pick the Indianapolis Colts here. I think, just think to me, the Raiders' defense, I don't think is going to have enough to stop their running game, and especially if they give up some big pass plays. And look, the Colts are are ve are starting to become a very dangerous team, a dangerous wildcard team right now. And I don't know if anybody would want to face them right now going into the postseason. And I'm looking at this point right now. The Colts are dangerous right now, and they're on a roll, and they're lo looking to lock up a playoff spot. They could lock up one this weekend if they win this game. But a lot of it's going to determine what happens in the Tennessee Titans game, Tennessee's uh, respective game on Sunday. But for this one here, I'm definitely picking the Colts here. I just think I just think their offense is slightly better than the Raiders. The Raiders defense is still a mess. Even though they got fortunate to beat the Browns and the and the Broncos last week, but they're playing like a desperate football team. I just think their luck's gonna run out in this game against the Colts, even if Wentz doesn't play. I'm picking the Colts in this one here at minus six and a half. Colts over the Raiders. Key game number three. It is the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Cincinnati Bengals. The Chiefs are five and a half point favorite in this one here. Now the Chiefs really don't have look, the Chiefs even though they won the division, but they still are gonna they're still gonna play and finding their way to get that number one seed because obviously they need they they're inches close to wanting that number one seed. And who doesn't want to play in Kansas City in Kansas City in the postseason? Now Patrick Mahomes went 23 of 30, 258 yards, three touchdowns, and no interceptions against a big win against the Steelers last week. Now Burrow in a big win against the against the Ravens went 37 of 46. 525 yards, four touchdowns, 
no interception, possibly one of his best games of his career. But they're go- look the Ravens right now. If the- I-, I picked I-, I I in my first pick I picked them to lose, and Cincinnati has a golden opportunity to wrap up the AFC North division this weekend. But when I look at this game here, look, this Cincinnati's a young football team, and I don't know if they're going to have enough to beat this Kansas City Chiefs team, a team that is more experienced and vying for that number one seed. For the Bengals right now, as I pick the Ravens to lose against the Rams, the Bengals may luck out in this game, to be honest with you, because they've already beaten other teams within the division other than Cleveland. They are still in very good shape, even if they lose this game. But when I look at it this way, look, the, the the Bengals' offense has to really be flawless because that Chiefs' defense has improved a lot. And the Chiefs have already won the division, so it wouldn't surprise me if the Chiefs get a little careless here, but I think they won't because they want that number one seed. And the way that high-powered offense of that Kansas City Chiefs team, I think the, I think the Bengals' defense is going to have a is going to have is going to be all, is going to be on the field a lot in this game. And I and I think to me the Chiefs are going to control the ball more in this one here to keep Burrow off the field here. Obviously the Bengals they they this is one of their toughest tests all season long and it could not have come at a worse time here, but they're still in pretty good shape to win, to win the division if they luck out if the Ravens lose against the Rams as I picked earlier and I don't want to mention it anymore right now. But I just think they're going to lose to the Chiefs here. I like the Chiefs in this one here. They're high-powered offense here, and I really think that the Chiefs, are they want that number one seed badly now, now that they have that golden opportunity. They should get most of their players back from the COVID list, and I like the Chiefs in this one here. Take the Chiefs at minus five and a half Chiefs over the Bengals. And finally, key game number four, it is the Cardinals versus the Cowboys. The Cowboys are a five and a half point favorite on this one here, and that is just about right. Cal Murray, 27 of 43, 245 yards, one touchdown. No, surprisingly, he was not intercepted in that game against the Colts. Now, Prescott this and the Cowboys destroying Washington last week. He went 28 of 39, 330 yards, four touchdowns and no interceptions. Obviously, more of the running game for uh, Ezekiel Elliott was the big factor in that one here. And obviously, their defense really played spectacular. This could not have come at a worse time now for the Cardinals. Obviously, they're dealing with injuries. They really miss Hopkins badly, but he is out for a while. And who knows if he's going to come back on the playoffs, which doesn't seem likely for this Cardinals team. I think since Hopkins went down, Cardinals de- Cardinals offense has really taken a major hit. They really miss him. He, they really miss him in getting key pass. Key, his his big play is Murray's big playmaker here, and especially with the way the Cowboys. They're trying to fight for that number one seed, but I just don't think they're going to get it with the way the Packers are playing right now. But obviously, they've look, they really have no mon- don't have that much to play for right now because they're currently right now the two seed. They've already wrapped up the NFC East division. But the way the Cardinals are playing right now, I don't think the Cowboys might have to do much in this game, even if this game is close. Cardinals offense is a mess, and they got to figure it out going into the postseason if they even want to be taken seriously. I mean, this Cardinal team started out so good, and it looked like the team to beat in the conference. But since they've fallen off the radar with the injuries, and not only that, the way Kyle Murray's playing in the in the last four games, the Cardinals really have fallen off. They're fortunate enough to get in as a, get into the playoffs right now, but they'll probably end up being a wild card because the the way it's looking right now, the Rams might end up winning the division. It's tough to say right now what this Cardinals team is going to be made of against the Cowboys, but I just don't think they have enough to beat the Cowboys. See, the Cowboys might not even to do that much in this game. But the Cowboys know they want they want a victory here to try to keep pace with the Packers, but obviously not much is going to be on their side. I mean, I but for this game here, you got to go with the Cowboys here. I just don't see them losing this game. They have more power, they have more offensive power and their defense is just too is going to be too much for the Cardinals. It's, I like the Cowboys in this one here. Take the Cowboys minus, uh, minus five and a half on this one here. Cowboys over the Cardinals. All right, everybody, that wraps up my four key game picks for week number 17. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, next week is my week 18 special edition video where we're going to talk about in my predictions in terms of who's going to get in the postseason and what the scenarios is. So obviously, it's not going to be my favorite video next week. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets, if this is my lowest rated video. So 
don't worry about that. I'm just going to let's see what key games are going to come up next week if they will determine playoff berths or maybe even the division. So I'll see you guys next week when I have my special edition video. Happy New Year to every one of you. For those who watch my videos, take care and enjoy your football weekend.